Glad that you made it. I didn't know where you went. Did you come through a different hole? Maybe you didn't come through this portal. Maybe you came through a different, different portal. There's more than one portal. Maybe that means more dinosaurs got here than we thought. Because what dinosaur were we following? We were following Triceratops. Well, if we see any other dinosaurs, it's because other portals open. We think this is definitely where Triceratops came, right? Mason ended up in a different portal, but Triceratops had to come through here because we see the green goo. We need it. We need to keep following all this green goo. Wait, listen. Let's listen. I think I hear him rummaging through the, the forest. Which direction should we head? This way? Towards the forest? So do, do you see some? Yeah. You see some? Kaden, right you see? Oh, wow. Do you think it left it here because it was over here eating some of the vegetation? Yeah. Never eat anything in the woods unless you know what it is or ask an adult because it could be deadly. Because what do Triceratops eat? Be careful not to touch it until we identify Oops. it. This has five leaves and it climbs the tree. And, and usually we, we have to be careful with things that climb the tree like that. But this. It does go way high. Oh, it does go way high. Look at that. This is Virginia creeper. Virginia creeper is not the poisonous plant that we're afraid of in the forest because it has five leaves. But their berries are poisonous. So do not want to eat those. But the thing that we are looking for that is poisonous is poison ivy. So we have to keep an eye out for poison ivy. But here is our green goo. There is our green goo from Triceratops. So we, ident we identified this. And what is it called? Virginia creeper. Virginia creeper. Very good. And I want to half. We have to be careful because also, Virginia creeper has a sap on it that if it gets onto your skin, some people some people get irritated by it. So, Virginia creeper, Whoa. not super poisonous, but you still have to keep an eye. Okay, we're moving on because we think we saw him come this way. Let's go, Kaden. Do you see it, Kaden? Yeah, Where's the goo? Yeah. This is another plant that Triceratops is eating, right? Let's, let's, let's grab this green goo. Let's check out this plant that it was eating. This one is false Solomon seal. But there's, a, there's another type of Solomon seal in here. I wonder if it was eating that one too. Let's go, let's go identify a Solomon seal and see if it was eating that too. Cause then maybe we'll maybe we'll find the triceratops if we find the. Did you find Solomon Seal? Yeah. Let's go follow it. <sighs> Look over here. You find it? Look, guys. It's the goo left from Triceratops. So it was definitely here. And look, just like we we hypothesized, it was eating Solomon Seal. So we saw false Solomon Seal, and now this is Solomon Seal flowers have gone a little bit, so it's starting to go to seed. Any berries that form from these flowers are poisonous. Yikes! 
Do you think Triceratops didn't eat this when there were berries on here? Whoa, okay. We're having a hard time finding Triceratops, huh? Let's go check in the back. Oh, you found more green goo? No. It was, the Triceratops was definitely here. Look, here's Triceratops green goo. Oh, grass. What was it eating this time? What do we think this is? So this plant is May apple. No, there's so much green goo. No more. May apple. Yeah, it has this really pretty flower right now. Look how pretty this flower is on this plant. And then it's gonna turn into like a little apple. You can see it's already kind of doing it. Everything on this plant is toxic for us as humans to eat, except for when the apple is completely ripe. Yeah, this is May apple and this is all over the place. Kind of like the Virginia creeper. So we know we have lots of food here that Triceratops is eating. Kaden, look over here. This almost looks like the poisonous plant that we we want to avoid. This has three leaves. If you look close, it has the three leaves. And that's something that you have to be very careful. You don't want to touch three leaf plants in the forest unless you know what it is. The difference with this one is, is that it has, has prickers on, on the stem. See those prickers? And this is a bush. Money. This is not poison ivy. This is a type of wild raspberry. You can see the flowers here. It looks like one of our favorite raspberry plants that we like to grow in the garden. And this one looks like it's gonna have lots of beautiful fruits on it. The flowers haven't quite bloomed. But it doesn't look like Triceratops is eating that because it probably thought it was poison ivy. Now, there is some poison ivy here, and I think that's why Triceratops decided to leave. Because we lost Triceratops, didn't we? Triceratops just disappeared. We don't know where he went. But I think it's because there's some poison ivy in these woods. But we need to identify poison ivy so that we stay away from it too, right? Okay, we're going to be very careful and we're not going to touch this. Do you want it to just stay there? Because poison ivy, you don't want to get on your fingers or your skin or it can give you blisters, right? I'm just going to carefully identify this poison ivy so that we know what it looks like, okay? Yeah, poison ivy is very, can be very dangerous, but we need to know what it looks like because we enjoy going into the woods and we can't go into the woods unless we know what to look for. Okay, here we go. It's kind of hard to see because it blends in with all the other stuff. But this plant has three leaves. And it contains an oil on it that if it gets onto your skin, it can be very dangerous. And this one, you can't entirely see, but it grows on a vine. The other thing that's really almost frightening is that it grows in with the Virginia creeper. So they kind of look the same. See how it's, here's the Virginia creeper and the poison ivy is right next to it and you can you can barely see it so we have to be very careful and we're going to go away from this area just like triceratops did but triceratops is still rummaging around so we have to go figure out where it went This plant over here that we found is actually Jack in the Pulpit. That is not poison ivy, but it has three leaves. Jack in the Pulpit happens to be one of my favorite plants, spring plants. It has three leaves. Oh, and you can see where, you can see where Triceratops was tearing it apart here. Look, he's eating it. And it has this really neato looking flower. It looks like a tube. What happens is 
flies go down into the tube and pollinate at the bottom, and then it makes a red berry. And that's how it disperses. And that's why we see so many other leaves over here because the berries have a seed in it that makes it grow more plants. And underneath the ground, there's more. So this is a really cool spring woodland flower. How are we going to find Triceratops? Whoa, did Triceratops make this big hole? It almost looks like it could be a Triceratops footprint. Maybe we scared it off. Did we scare it off with our balloons? Oh, uh oh. I have an idea. Let's pull out the dino watch. We'll get the dino watch out and see if the blip if it blips to show us where the Triceratops went to. Because it, it took off from here and it's not in the woods anymore, so we have to figure out where it went. Yeah. I think that's how we're going to find them. We're going to find Triceratops by pulling out the dino watch. All right. <gasps> you, you see Triceratops? He's, he's in the Thistle Two Chick House in the center of Bainbridge. <coughs> the Thistle Two Chick House. I wonder why you went there. You know, Dino Fire said that dinosaurs usually protect dino tiles, like this one. So I wonder if there's a dino tile there that we need to find. Maybe it will lead us to a, a golden fossil. Let's head to the Vizzle Future House so that we can find Triceratops. Maybe we'll find another dino tile. Let's go! Let's go! Do you think you can identify poison ivy now? Here are a few other ways to help you remember what poison ivy looks like. Leaves of three, let it be. Side leaves like mittens, belly itch itch like the dickens. Every bar, no plant has mine. Berries are my best to fly. Longer middle stem, beware of them. Now get out on an adventure and see how many of the plants we found today are in the woods near you. Thanks for watching and see you next time.